imagination to creation, and today I will be telling you a little bit about Father's Day and where it originated and a little bit about Father's Day. And I am from Spokane, Washington, which is where Father's Day started. First of all, I want to thank Suiza Aurora for featuring me on News Shuttle today in this newspaper for kids. And I'll just get started with telling you about Father's Day. Father's Day is a day that we honor fatherhood, fatherhood, paternal bonds, and the influence of fathers in this society. Father's Day was first celebrated on June 19, 1910. The founder is Sonora Smart Dodd. And it was in the third Sunday of June, like it is every year. And it was first celebrated at the YMCA in Spokane, Washington, where I am from, in 1910. And it was officially created a holiday in 1972, 58 years after President Woodrow Wilson made Mother's Day a national holiday. That's a long time. And Sonora's father was a Civil War veteran, and he was a single parent raising his six children, including Sonora, after his wife had died. And Sonora wanted to do, go bigger with celebrating fathers and what they do, just because Sonora's father was amazing and raised his six children by himself. So she wanted to celebrate the fathers too, not just saying a little thank you to them, but to really show them their appreciation towards them and how much they are loved in this society. And I encourage you to also really not just say thank you to your father on Father's Day, but write a note, make a gift to tell them how much you appreciate them and how, how special you are to them. And you should also not honor them just for Father's Day. You should honor them every single day because they deserve it. And dads are turned, or dads are one of the most unique men turned by love into heroes, storytellers, and lifelong friends. And a father means an understanding soul, a strength of source, a source of strength, and lifelong friends, and, and just support from the very beginning. And, like I said, I encourage you to honor them as many times as you can and just show your appreciation towards them. And if you look at Sonora, she didn't give up. She was just from a little town in Washington called Spokane. And she really put out there what she wanted to accomplish. And she made Father's Day an official holiday celebrated every year. And she didn't stop working, she kept going, and she kept trying, and she accomplished her goal to do something more than just saying thank you to our father, to really honor them for all they do for us and how special they are. And so she kept trying, and she didn't let anything get in her way, and she started on 1910 and celebrated her first Father's Day then, and it became a national holiday in 1972. That's a big gap. That's 62 years. Just think about how much effort and time and hard work that took. If you're ever trying to accomplish something big, don't ever think just one person can't do it. One person can make a bigger impact than 1,000 people if they really put the effort into it to make that impact. 
just like she did. So I encourage you to put your heart to what you want and to accomplish what you really want for it to become. And I want to relate this to my imagination to creation. I want to show the world and I want to tell them and I want, to, I want them to be inspired and to do what they want to do because I put out my skills to the world and my passion and I share them with everyone so they can get inspired and they can see that hard work really pays off because I started Imagination to Creation when I was five and now I have many people benefiting from my classes because I'm making a bigger impact rather than just a couple of people and making money. I want to make it for a bigger amount of people making a big impact still. And I just want you to know if you ever really want to do something, you can't let anyone get in your way because there will be some jealous people and they're jealous because you thought of such a brilliant idea and they didn't. And they cannot let you put, they cannot put you down. And you just need to keep trying and working hard and you will get there one day. And if you guys would like to do a craft, then you can let me know in the comments right here if you want to do a craft like this. It's a super simple craft. When you open it up, there's a little note that you can write in here. I wrote a little quote in here. And it's a very cute card for your father. And while we're waiting for the um, comments to come in, if you'd like to do the craft, I'll be telling you about some of my upcoming events so you can come and look at those too. So here's another Father's Day acrylic painting that we've done previously and you can go back to my videos on my Facebook page called Imaginations to Creation and then you can find that and do this for Father's Day too. And then I have an oil pastel class and we made seahorses because seahorses are known to be the best fathers in the sea world and or in the marine life. So we do some seahorses father seahorse and a baby seahorse. And I have my acrylic painting on Sunday and my um, oil pastel on Saturday. And we also have a penguin here. And for this penguin, penguins are known to be the best fathers, emperor penguins, in the wildlife. So we did some penguins there too. So you can go back in my videos to find many oil pastels and different stuff um, going towards Father's Day. And I also have origami creations every Friday. And this is some cool things we made before. It starts off like this and turns into this. It's a super cool ninja star. And then we also have a finger knitting butterfly here that we made in a previous class. You can go back and look at the events there on how to do this. And then I have art knitting creations like these. And for my finger knitting classes, all you need is your fingers and some yarn. So you don't need any knitting needles or anything like that because you may not have them. And I also have this pencil sketch coming up in a couple of weeks, just like next week. It's a very simple, easy portrait of a girl. And all my sessions are on live, except for my story times, which are Monday through Thursday every week. And they're gonna be on Zoom most of the time, but they will be on a Facebook Live if you, like if there's like an important message to be spread out that I want all of you to know. And I have a bonus. We'll be talking about the story afterwards and a moral of what we can take home from the story. I have an extra, extra bonus. I'll be teaching you how to draw some characters after the story is over. And I have many more classes like these, and they're all free. So Monday to Thursday, I have story times, and it's every week. Friday, I have origami, like these. 
And then, on Saturdays, I have oil pastels. And then on Sundays, I have pencil sketches and acrylic paintings. And I can, and I'm fitting finger knitting and arm knitting whenever I can in the weekdays because my schedule is very packed. Okay. So, if you'd like to do the craft, the craft, the materials we'll be needing for this are some regular printer paper or a square piece of paper you do not want it into a, uh, sorry, a rectangle piece of paper you do not want it into a square. And you'll also be needing a pencil and an eraser to draw like the tie and the note inside. And you can use some markers if you'd like to color it all in. Okay. show them that anything is possible in this world. And I want everyone to know that you can do anything as long as you work towards it and put your passion and hard work towards it and explore what you want to do. Okay, so let's get started. Bolina. Hi, Shashwati. Okay. Hi, Miss Ba. Hi, Renu. Hi, Priya. Okay. So now, from here. We will be needing our piece of paper first. We want to first fold it into a rectangle. So we want to fold it so this long way here like a hot dog style. And then we want to fold in half like this. And we want to line up the edges and make sure that they're all lined up and then we want to fold it down or crease it like this. So now it should be just like a long piece of paper, a skinny long piece of paper. Okay. So now from here, we can open it up and fold this edge across here to the middle fold. So we just want to fold it down like this to the middle fold. Like that. Now we want to fold it down or crease it down. And then, from here, we want to fold this edge to the middle line here. Like this. We want to make sure we line it up and you want to make it as close as you can to be lined up to the middle the best you can and then you want to crease it down and you want to push pretty hard. until here, then please type in the comments and let me know 
if you have all the steps until here. Hi, Mina. So let me know if you've got everything until here. Okay. So now, from here, we wanna fold a little bit down. So we have it like this at the top. First we wanna turn it around. And then fold just a little bit down, not too much but we just want a good amount folded down, like this. We wanna make sure it's straight. Like that. So again, we have it like this. You want to turn it around and then fold it down. Okay. So now, from here, we want to turn it back around and then fold it back behind. So again, we, when we turn it around, it should just be like this. We want to fold it again here, like this. We want these lines to match up, like this. So this is probably the most trickiest part, and it's all very simple and easy. But basically, we have it like this, and we just need to fold it down here, like that. You can always tell me in the comments if you want anything repeated or for me to go slower or faster or anything like that. So now, from here, we should have these two flaps. So, I'm just gonna grab this and fold it out. Just along here. And you wanna make sure this flap comes out a little bit. So I'll repeat it on this side. I'm just folding it out as much as I want. Right here. But I wanna make sure it comes all the way here. Like that. All the way to the edge and we're folding it out. Like that. So again, we have it like this. We wanna make sure it comes all the way to this point. We're gonna fold it out. Then fold it on this side and make sure these two points right here match up. Okay. So now, we have this little flap up here. We wanna open this up like this. So now it should look like that. So it's like this, just open it up. And if it's not already like this, then it probably came undone already. So basically I just want this little fold here. Okay. So now we can fold this middle point, oh, this little um, edge point here to the middle point here. So I'll show you what I mean. We have this little middle point here. We want to fold it to this point where these two have a line and they match up here. So just where here and here match up this middle. 
and we want to fold it to this middle point and then crease it down like that. And this is going to be the collar. And then, I'll repeat the steps of what we did so far. So we basically just folded this out here and folded this out here. Okay, so now we can fold this middle point and touch right here. Like this and then make a crease. Okay. So now, from here, let me know if you've got everything until here. afterwards so you can go back and look at it then too and catch up or anything you'd like okay so now from here we can now fold this edge all the way up to here we want to like tuck it into this collar area. So these are the sleeves and these are the and this is the collar. So we just want to tuck it all the way up as it can go like this. And we want to crease it down. Like that. So again. We had it like this. You want to grab this edge down here and push it into here like this and then crease down. And then from here we're all done. So on this one I added a tie but you can add anything you like like a pocket or anything like that. Just a tie, a pocket, a bow tie, anything like that. So now we can draw it in. So for this one, I'll also be doing another tie so you guys can know, so I can show you guys how to do the tie. But for this, I'm gonna open this back up and put it like this so I can draw easier. So I'm first gonna bring down a line that comes down here. And this is, I don't know if you can see it, but this is where the middle line is, like the middle fold is, right here. So, I just want to do it this much away on, from the middle line on this side and the same amount on this side. So then I'm going to do it over here. And you can always erase if you need to. But now from here, we're going to just make a line that comes down here. And then another line that comes down here and slants this way slightly towards the middle. Like that. And 
And now, from here, we can now bring a line that comes out and slants outwards this way. And then we can bring a line that comes out and slants outwards this way over here too. Like that. Okay. So now, from here, I'm going to bring this back in with just a curve, not a curve line, just a line that's slanting inwards. And then another one on this side. Like that. Okay, so now, from here, I'm just gonna outline this a little bit darker. So now, from here, we can do the design on it. So I'm gonna fold this back up. The reason I am doing this is because if I color it just like this thin part right here, then whatever I'm coloring, like if I'm using markers especially, then it'll bleed through the paper or it'll bleed through like the tablecloth or whatever surface you're using. So you can also get another piece of paper and put it underneath too. Okay. So now I'm gonna do a design. So you don't have to do a design, but for this design, I will be doing stripes. As you can see on this one, I did some polka dots, and on this one, I did some plaid. So for this one, I'm just gonna do some regular straight down stripes. So I'm gonna bring as straight lines as I can coming down, like this. And then, over on this one, I can make it coming this way. Like that. So now, I can color it in. So the colors I'll be using for this is some red and some yellow. So I'm first gonna go in on this side and do the red. And then I'm gonna do it on this side and do the red. And then I'm gonna go in on this side and do the red. And then I can do yellow in these spots. So I'm gonna go through with some yellow here, and some yellow here, and some more right there. So it's nice and vibrant now. So you can do any colors you'd like. And then, from here, I'm going to be doing some red right here, and some more red right here and then yellow in that middle one. Like that. And there we go. And then, right here is where you'd write what you'd like to write to your father. So you can write like a quote, or like, like some sort of note or anything like that you'd like to. So for this one, I'm going to write, a father is someone you look up to no matter how tall you grow. So, from right here I'm gonna write a Father, is 
someone. You look up to. And you want to make it look nice, so you probably want to do your best handwriting. I'm just going to write the quotation marks up there. And you can also write, or you can also draw a mustache to show like it's a father or anything like that, like a dad. So I'll teach you how to do that if you'd like to. So I'm first going to start off like where this middle is. And just make a curve like this, and then curve it up. Make a curve like this, and curve it up like that. And then, we want to curve it back in. Like this on both sides. And then, we want to connect it from out here and connect into here like that and then you can fill it in with some pencil lines that come through like this I'm going to come all around here. Like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Come all around through here. Like this. And there we go. We're all done with the mustache. And then you can also write your name, but I'm going to be writing a heart and then my name inside of it. So like you can write from your name or like love your name or anything like that. Hey Lolita. Okay, so again, to close it, you just fold this up here and push it into this collar area. And there you go. You're all done. And you can give it to your father for Father's Day. And you can write something more meaningful inside or something that shows how much you appreciate him or anything like that. And I'm very honored and humbled for this co collaboration. And thank you to Suiza Aurora again, and from the new shuttle for featuring me today. And art and creativity enables us to find ourselves. I encourage all of you to explore all the options which is find your passion, work hard, and never be down with negativity, and dream big and believe in yourself. And just like Sonora did, 
and how she and how she made Father's Day and how she started it because of her initiative. And remember, a single person can make a huge impact. It can make a huge impact if they keep trying more than a thousand people could do. And that's all from me, Sindhu, from Spokane, where Father's Day started. You can follow my page, Imaginations to Creation, to come to many more classes like these. And that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed because I really enjoyed teaching it to you. Thank you all for coming and I hope to see you next time. Bye!